Fa Fa Media. I was a minimum wage movie theater usher that made good and became a top earner in my network marketing company. Now, after 16 plus years in the profession, I'm finally teaching myself how to leverage the internet with online marketing and social media marketing to continue to grow and expand my business. My name is Ronnie Cruz, and this is Path, Path of the Network Path Marketing. All right, welcome back to the show. Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're gonna to talk about working with limitations. That's right, working with limitations. I love working with limitations, to be honest. Um, and and I, I wanted to talk about this topic because it's been coming up in conversation a lot, especially as I you know move into this coaching realm and this digital um, education world. Uh, a lot of the people that are starting to plug into me are all, all want to immediately communicate their challenges and their limitations. And I get it, right? Like we all have them. Like I said, I love challenges and, and limitations. Um, well, I posted a quote the other day that said, um, challenges are either, they are either an opportunity for growth or the excuse to quit, right? And, and for me, that's why, that's why I love them. I, I love these opportunities to grow and stretch, right? And, and, and so um, that's what I want to talk about today. I, I really want to help you redefine your limitations um, because, I mean, that's all they are, right? Like you can either, you can either choose for them to be um, an opportunity for growth or the, your excuse to quit. So why do I love uh, limitations? Number one, it allows me, it really uh, pushes me to get scrappy. Right to get scrappy, I, I I think you know with limitations. If there are certain barriers that are in my way to achieving the thing that I want to achieve, I have to really get creative and and uh, you know employ my creative facilities to solve the problem, so I can figure out my way either through that limitation or around it to get to my goal. Um, either way, I'm I'm gonna really enjoy the challenge of it. Right. Um, so that's one reason why I love limitations because um, it forces me to really really be creative. One example is um, that I that I'm purposefully doing right now is not relying on um, paid uh, ads and and paid growth, right? Right? I, you know, for my master class that uh, I just did, uh, I could have easily done uh, paid ads to to generate um, uh, traffic, right? To generate more more views and, and more registrations for that particular master class. I chose not to uh, because I wanted the challenge uh, number one of doing it without a budget and doing it for free and therefore you know if i can do it for free then that that means then okay then it's going to be even that much more effective with paid ads um uh, so you know it allowed me it, it also you know allowed me it forced me to stretch and think creatively of how am i going to generate traffic how am i going to generate attention um for this master class and, and get people registered for this master class if i don't have a budget which really i mean so many people are in that position in the first place especially if you're new to to content creation, if you're new to um, developing your influence, you're, you're, you're bootstrapping every step of the way, especially for the you network marketers too, right? All right, so it, it allows you to really get creative and, and, and the more you use your crea creative facilities, um, it's like a muscle, right? You, you work it, you work it, and it gets stronger and stronger, and you're, you, you actually become more and more um, creative as you go, and, and, and the limitations and the challenges that you face, uh, I mean, yeah, you, you can solve them just like this because you're so used to using your creativity. Um, now, the other, the other reason why I love limitations and challenges is that it, it, makes, it, it builds your resilience. Right. If there's if there's something that you're struggling with and, and that, that you're continually kind of butting up against um, um, and you're hitting your head against that, that wall repeatedly, um, these challenges um, grow, grow you. I mean, we, I, I said that earlier, like this is these are opportunities for growth. But part of that growth is is really developing your your strength and your resilience to face difficulties to face hardships right um and because if you don't then then it, you know you're never going to develop that resilience and if you don't develop that resilience then um you'll you'll quit you know at at the at the earliest sign of a challenge right it's really important to have resilience because because any journey especially a content creation journey especially an entrepreneurial journey entrepreneurial journey um is gonna is gonna be continually fraught with challenges and, and, and difficulties. And if you don't have the resilience, that, that, can, that can kick you out of the game really, really quick. I've seen it happen time and time again. And, and the issue with that is, uh, you know, if, if you don't have the resilience, if you're continually 
quitting and starting over, quitting and starting over. It's so hard to, to create any kind of momentum in your business. It's so hard to create any kind of momentum in your, um, in your content creation if you're always stopping and starting, right? So regularly facing challenges and limitations helps you develop that resilience so that you don't stop and that you just keep going regardless of the difficulty and the hardship, right? It's not that I don't face difficulty. It's not that I don't face hardship. In fact, I'm experiencing a lot of, a lot of growth right now and, and, and a lot of discomfort. Um, it's that I'm, I'm used to it. I'm used to um, facing these hardships and facing these limitations. And, and um, uh, I, as a result, I know this, this latest iteration, this latest phase of difficulty and challenges that I'm going through right now are going to make me even more resilient than I already am. Right. So be willing to face the challenges, be willing to face the limitations and embrace it because it's going to make you into who you need to be to achieve the thing that you're wanting to achieve. Right. So that's my message for you for you today. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, more from me tomorrow. So until then, be well, be safe. We'll see you in the next episode.